and welcome to the final part of setting up S A B N Z B D and Sick Beard. This is the final sub N Z B D config. Uh, so let's uh, let's begin. Click on config. Okay, so we're going to run through the configs of uh, sub N Z B D, and you would have set up most of the settings already during the in initial installation for the first part click on folders I've kept I've, I've kept the default uh, downloads folder for complete and incomplete downloads just some for simplicity's sake and it will work but you may want to move it to another drive or location of your choosing you also want to remember that you cannot use UNC paths if the location is on another machine rather map a network drive and that will get that going there the next thing to note is the watched folder this is if you manually download any NZB files you can copy them to this folder and then this folder will, uh, and then your installation will then process any files in those uh, in that f in that folder then move on to your post processing scripts folder this is a very important folder as these contain the scripts that will auto process after you've actually down actually after you've downloaded an episode so never so navigate or you can just simply put in the location of your auto process folder if you have a sometimes you tend to download files with passwords so yeah you can enter a passwords file generally you'll find that from the indexing site like OzNZB etc so simply type in the location to your passwords file and save the changes next we click on switches and if you leave everything as is they are generally okay one thing however that I like to change is I the action when encrypted raw passwords when encrypted raws is downloaded I generally switch that off the default is to pause them and that is because I generally use a passwords file and then the other one is to actually ignore samples and do not download Go down, click on save changes and move on to servers. Remember this you have already set up. If you're not sure, you can always go and test your connection. You click on test server. You should get a connection successful. Another thing to note is you can download from two servers at the same time. However, it is not recommended. Um, it's best to switch one of them to a backup server so that if the one's not available it will use the other one so I'll switch this one to a backup server and click on test okay and then save your changes if you if you only want to use your night data if you're on a capped subscription with your I, with your ISP you can generally set schedules to download at night so if you only want to download on during the week and you want to start all of your downloads or resume your downloads at say 11 o'clock the night at your schedule and if you want to stop your downloads at say 5 in the morning and you can just say to pause all okay but I don't want that okay notifications we can ignore okay this is another important part and this is the categories remember in the I think it was part one or was it part two that we actually set up the TV category now you need to make sure that you use the exact same name and I've simply used the category called TV so yeah um, 
the injured beast downloaded from Sigbeard is marked as TV when it's then passed to Sab injured B application. So you need to set up the TV category for the correct post processing of the files. So on the second line, you type in TV. Uh, and I think it's case sensitive. Put in a priority. High is definitely okay. Post processing, you want to set delete. And then the script. Yeah, you would like to select sav to sigbeard.exe. There is a Python version as well, but we're not using that. But that actually seems to be the most pop popular one. But I found this one to be the easiest. Then enter the path to your downloads folder. This is usually in the the default location is usually your in your my documents folder slash downloads slash complete. And then just click on add. Save or save. Yeah. Sometimes you won't see the script column here. And that is generally it's a it's a pretty common one that you tend to miss and that is if you, is, is if you actually don't set the post processing scripts folder so just make sure that you always set the post processing scripts folder and that will allow you to see all the scripts and the scripts column okay and then the last part before we can test our installation is by editing the scripts file so navigate to your scripts folder. I've stored them under install file, Sigbeard, and this is my Sigbeard folder, auto process TV. And then there is a, a file called auto auto process TV dot CFG dot sample. Just rename that to that. And then right click and then say properties and just make sure you unblock that and then you want to open and edit the file so open with and just open that with notepad open it with notepad and then yeah you'll just need to enter the information of your installation so once you've op you've opened it up with notepad just simply enter the host the port if you've used SSL then you'll you'll put in the SSL port put in your username which I think I've used was it was uh, sad admin and then put in the password there I won't be showing you my password and then just click on save okay so now we're ready to test and adding shows everything should be working now but we obviously test it to make sure that it actually is working as expected so let's go to sickbeard and let's start adding some shows so what you want to take note of is you would probably have an existing list of shows already that you've downloaded or purchased You'll generally then go and add existing shows. So I've set up a test folder there called shows. In fact, let me just delete that and do everything from scratch. So this is my shows folder where all of my TV series will be. I've got one file in there and I've got one file, two files in there. But obviously you would have hundreds. Okay, so let's do this. New. Let's navigate. And you click on shows. So you don't click on the actual show name. You click on the shows root folder. Which in my case would be D shows. And you click on submit. If you click on customize options, you can set the options of what Sigbeard should look for for all of your shows. By default, you set the initial status of missing episodes to skip because you because you don't want it to actually go and 
download and search for all of your episodes right now and then this is the quality you can choose between 1080p 720p I generally choose SD it's pretty decent quality and it's much smaller as well but you can have your choice so choose your quality and then click on submit after a short while you will immediately see all the directories of the folders that's in your show directory let's click on submit there so now it's going to actually search the TV database select the show that corresponds to your show click on add remember it's using all the defaults that you've previously specified click on add show just make sure that it is in fact the show that you hope it to be click on add show and that's it so now your shows are added it's already found a couple there and it will do its thing in the background okay so after a couple a couple of seconds you can already see that um, the status it, it tells you that the show is continuing if it's a show that's ended it will tell you that the show has ended the quality the network the show name so if I click on let's uh, let's let's use game of thousands as an example and you can see that it only picked up the one episode that was already in the file in the folder okay so yeah if we want to now test our installation and make sure that remember this is what sickbeard will do sickbeard will go and it will periodically I think we've set it up to 60 minutes so you can set that up to once every five hours every six hours once a day only at night etc so at all it will use that API call check the site as NZB or my favorite which is uh, NZB SA get the new episode and send that to Sab NZB so let's test if it's actually working so let's use this one so I'm, I'm gonna do a manual search here but remember this is all automatic so let's click on manual and then let's see what happens let's give it a couple seconds okay so once it's actually found the episode you can see here on top it has actually snatched that episode of Game of Thrones and it should send it to let's have a look here and there we go so as, as you can see it e it has actually sent it to the downloader which is sab nzbd and we can actually go and look at the logs and it will tell you then okay let's have a look so yeah you can see it actually searched Oz NZB for Game of Thrones it also searched my favorite indexer it searched the sickbeard indexer it found it it downloaded the NZB file and then it sent it to sab NZBD so this is the speed of the of the download here and as I explained before this shows you the server that you connected to the number of connections your download the parts you can always refresh that manually if you want and what will happen afterwards is that is that Sigbeard would download the file and it will process it with a script yeah and that is all that you need to know for and for the installation